Hello guys. In this series we are going to develop a ChatGPT integration for this space game. This is a simple text-based quest and uh, let me tell you a little bit about it. So what you can see on the screen is the main uh, page of the game. On the left you can see the text that backend generates for current scene. Like uh, you wake up in the spaceship and you don't remember anything, uh, you know, just some regular stuff when you start the game. Uh, and here in the game you have an AI of the spaceship. You know, a computer that manages the ship, that takes care of the crew. And uh, what we are going to do with this series is we are going to integrate the ChatGPT to be this AI. Okay, uh, a little bit more about the game itself. So on the bottom you can see a list of actions, uh, things you can do with the game as a player. On the right uh, you can see where you are, in which location on the spaceship. Also your inventory which is currently empty and just some nice art that shows um, current location of, uh, of yourself. So, um, you can use hotkeys or you can use your mouse to navigate through actions. You can, for example, uh, do action ask female voice, more details about situation, and it will tell you a bit about it. Uh, then you can go and open the pod or try to sleep more, uh, and so on. So, some actions. Like, you need to wait a little bit until outside environment in, is prepared for you to exit a sleeping pod, and so on. So, this is another scene of the game. You woke up and you are in the status pods room. Basically, um, we need to uh, make an AI that will help us go through the game and experience the game more interactive, like it's some companion that will follow you everywhere and the one you can speak about, ask like what's the best course of action to pass this room? Let's say there is some fire and it will recommend you to fire, uh, to find a fire extinguisher or something like that. Uh, so first episode will be all about just integrating OpenAI API into the game. So it won't at first be related to the game, like it won't know anything, but we will be able to chat with it. So that's first step. In the next episodes we'll start feeding it a little by little about the game, about the spaceship, about its role, and uh, it will have the context of what player did on the uh, spaceship before, what was their action, let's say they opened some room to another section of the ship and the AI will be aware of that. So uh, let me now tell you a little bit about the code itself for the game. This is a SwellKit application. As you can see here it's like all the regular SwellKit files, some dependencies in package.json, some prettier config, uh, etc. We're using uh, Tailwind. We're using Prisma. And in the source folder, you can see that we have some roads. First of all, it's some roads about the game, like current game ID. Each game has each, its ID. By the way, this game is uh, web-free oriented. Like, uh, instead of just starting a new game, you need to mint it and you need to connect your wallet into it. Uh, so this information is stored on the blockchain. But the game backend itself is purely, you know, classic Web2 stuff. Uh, so let's look at it for a second. Uh, now contains a TypeScript plugin. Okay, let's try. Um, yeah, so what do we see here? I tried to make it as simple as possible and use stores to um, have all the logic on the front end and services that have all the logic on the back end 
and the component this page component just contains some uh, some simple HTML and logic with working with stores like loading some data or applying some actions uh, and you can see here for example for the current game we have some actions that each of them have key name and type key is like ID of the action so backend understand what you are talking about name is a human friendly text uh, like let me open one so this text is name that you read as a human and the type is some like action or information or move to another room you can see and uh, we use type to highlight actions differently on the front end different color so player know ah okay this is only to ask some information this is to do some action and this is to move to another room some uh, fast separation and then there are buttons each button is action application so when you click on it we call game store apply action so uh, this is just to give you an example of how the game is structured in the code also we have API that uh, takes game actions like we have patch endpoint that basically applies the game action that you have chosen mutates the state of the game and then it saves it to the database using Prisma here uh, yep basically that's the whole game it's very simple if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask it in the comments okay so that was API basically that's all the routes and in the lib section we have client server and types uh, so to integrate chat GPT we first of all need the backend that will talk with OpenAI servers so let's add a file here I'll just call it openai.ts and uh, we are going to integrate ChatGPT from scratch like let's say you don't know how to do it at all and uh, we'll do it all together so let's say I have no knowledge about OpenAI integration what I would first do I would go to OpenAI and find some developers documentation uh, let's go there here you can read more about how to use it and let's say we've read all about it the most interesting part for us uh, for this episodes will be chat completions and here you can see this is a Python example but we use Node.js uh, it's basically very simple you import the package and you call chat completion uh, section on it you provide it with the model that you want to use it can be chat GPT 3.5 or chat GPT 4 in future and an array of messages that's it your, your history of what, what you discussed with AI in the past and you will get some answer where you will see a message with some content this is what we will extract from it okay so to work with it we need to generate API key let's go there and let's create a new one so here I am this is a secret key so now you can see part of my key but I will remove it after so because it's secret you should not share it with anyone okay so one sec let me disable my phone calls okay copy that and we need to go to our dot n file here we are oh I already have have it here okay nice uh, and basically that's it now we can make calls back to documentation we can find for Node.js I think it should be somewhere here open AI package let's install it so I'm using pnpm uh, okay whatever it is yep thank you I think I had it opened can I just have a terminal please pnpm add uh, openai it has typescript completion so we don't need to install anything else 
and uh, let's import it here from OpenAI. So how do we use it? Let's find it. So we can also call uh, API directly using HTTPS, like using Coral or Axios or whatever you prefer. So for Node.js, we need this type of configuration. So let's copy it. Actually, we, we could just use this. Uh, let's spend a moment here and discuss what's inside. So we import configuration uh, class and OpenAI API thing. And uh, configuration is where your organization and API key is presented. So OpenAI will use Swell Kit stuff to get this. I guess it should be .env .openai and we need to import it .env from environment well, I I always mess with this. Is it static? Static env or is it private env? I think it should be private. Private env. Okay, let me quickly Google it. So swell kit env. Okay, let's look at the private one. Ah, we need to import the thing directly. Okay. Okay, hopefully that's all we need. And this is just uh, VS Code not knowing about it, but it should work. So organization thing, I guess this is uh, not required. Just API key is required. Let's try with that. And with this configuration object that we just defined, we can create new API client. And inside API client, we have a lot of methods. The one we are most interested in is create chat completion. So here you can see all the types. And again, we reviewed it previously. It has model. So I don't have access to ChatGPT for API. This is in private wait list for me. Uh, but we have still access to GPT 3.5. Uh, let me find exactly what it is. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it was somewhere here. Chat completion. Uh -huh. Here is the name of the model. So later on, uh, when, once ChatGPT4 is available and you want to switch it, remember this is, at this moment, this is much more expensive and much slower than this ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo model. So this model is will be more than enough for our case. And we need to provide it with messages. Messages is an array. Uh, first message that we will provide will be from role system. System role is what you want to use when you do some setup for your model, like some initial information for it, like, hey, you are a spaceship AI and you need to help your crew to survive and blah, blah, blah. Uh, so actually, that's what we are going to do here. Let me just extract it to some variable. I will call it setup and I will define it above. And I think we need to make a function out of it. Let me quickly define it. So it will be a sync function. Uh, we'll call it chat. We will provide it um, message. Yes, I think we'll provide it with an array of messages. Messages. And each of them will have role. Uh, this will be assistant. And then text. Okay, that's array of messages. Also, we'll have setup. That will be text. And what else? Model, not text, string. Um, 
yeah that's basically it so setup will get from this argument now oh, I got some autocomplete uh, let me get this code okay here so first message is from system with setup the rest of the messages will be with yeah basically from here okay let's see what is wrong at the moment so text setup oh it might be not text it might be message am i right message uh so once you forgot what it should be you can command click or control click depending on are you on vs code or um windows and you can go and see the details like for example what is the request properties model messages let's go inside messages and each message is from role and it has content okay so it's not text it's not message it's content okay cool and content here nice now i think Ch uh, chat gpt not chat gpt uh, GitHub Copilot auto-completed some code for us, but it's not text, it's message and it's content. Okay, cool. So that's basically it. That's all you need to do to get OpenAI integrated. And this function chat will use to integrate with our game. Okay, awesome. This was the service, OpenAI service. Later on, I would probably move it to some other folder, but for now that's fine. And let's export it from here, from the barrel file. Open AI. Uh -huh. And now it is available for our API to use. So let's go to the roads API. So here we have games. Let's make a new one called chat and inside we'll just just create a plus server CS file I'll copy it from here just to reuse some code and I will remove everything so what we'll do is we'll have post uh, post endpoint here oh we have one here okay nice let's remove everything that is not related and uh, we are going to extract from the front-end request the message that's what our front-end sends to the back-end and the message will send to ChatGPT API we need to validate it uh, let's reuse this validation here so it must be a non-empty string and length should be until maximum 250 symbols okay message 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 uh, must be an, a string up to 250 symbols nice that's validation by the way small thing you can install plugin for regions and you can then collapse a part of your code uh, I think just to give you an idea of what is it called I think it's region or is it supported natively uh, let's quickly see what I have installed maybe some of this will help you no I don't have it so regions I guess are supported out of the box nice okay so that was validation and here from the previous endpoint we used here we did something with the database like created a new game uh, instead of that we will get where is our import get chat function from lib server uh, and we'll use it here 
and we'll return something that we'll define in a moment. So we'll get answer out of our request and we will await chat. Wait, it's not known. Let's see what's wrong. So we are exporting everything from OpenAI. Oh, I need to mark it as exported. Okay, let's see if it is known now. Yes. Cool. So to get all the messages that were previously used, we need to have some sort of database. For the simplicity of this first episode, we'll just keep messages in memory. So we'll create uh, messages here and it will be basically empty. And also let's define setup for our AI. So you are an AI of a spaceship lost in space. Your responsibility is to help the crew members to survive. Okay, nice. Uh, let's make it multi line string. Um, crew, ah, the messages you are going to receive will be what's with the light? Will be from one of the crew members. One of the crew members. Yep. Uh, do your best to provide them with info, with the best possible advice. Okay, for now this is fine. Later on, this setup will be fed with information about previous players' actions and information about the ships, like what rooms are available on the ship and uh, let's say the AI should be aware of what's going on on the ship, like through cameras, through some sensors. So some of this information we will fill into this setup. Okay, setup will be our second argument. And the message that we get from front end will be immediately added to the messages array. Okay, cool. So this is our database in memory. So every time we restart the backend server, uh, the message array will be cleaned up. So we need uh, later on to replace it with the database, the proper one. Okay, and we need to send an answer. Let's just use simple answer here. Cool, let's remove everything that is not related to our current code, format it. And this is our endpoint integration. Uh, implementation. We need to check if it works at the moment. So I uh, use Postman. You can use some other HTTP client to do that. And what we need to do is to let me close everything here. Okay, and make new post to localhost port. 5173 if I remember correctly slash API slash chat we will have body that is raw JSON okay so I had an issue that I'll show in a second but uh, let's try to send our request I think we need to uh, give more details to AI about the setup but we've got the answer. Hello, my name is Eve and I am the AI of the spaceship. Nice! You are brought the spaceship and uh, I'm afraid I don't have information on your exact location. Anything specific you would like me to help you. Nice! Um, I had a problem. I had this line highlighted previously and the thing was in the typo. Instead of dollar up, it should be dollar and and I completely missed it and I spent an hour <laughs> to figure out. So please be careful and uh, if you are not 
sure about it, just copy it from here. Copy it. Try not to guess. Okay, nice. Um, so let's see. Uh, our chat should be able to save the context because we have our local in memory database with this messages array. Uh, let's ask it something else. So next message in the chat. If uh, are we lost? Yeah, it takes a while. I haven't. I think not the best internet at the moment. Based on my analysis of the current location and trajectory, it appears that we are off the course. Nice and blah blah blah. So as you can see, uh, it answers. Let me give it its name, and in the next message, I will ask it what's my name. So we'll see if it keeps the context. Uh, my name is Anton. Hello, Anton. Uh, what's my name? Your name is Anton. Okay, nice. So as you can see, it keeps the messages here. Wonderful. So that was the first episode and we got the chat working. In the next episode, we will make the front end part of it and keep starting, uh, keep starting, start uh, integrating more of the, of the uh, game context into the, the setup set. So thank you for your attention and see you in the next one somewhere there. Ciao.